Hey guys, welcome back. I think this is part five. Yeah. Irving Kid Tannen. Guess he dropped this on his way out. It's empty. Figures. Hey, Ivy, get your nose over here. All right. I really don't think Tan and the Doc are with Herbert Hoover, Ivy. Okay, okay, I'll check it out. A button. All right, Doc, here I come. Corleone, what are you doing here? Uh, never mind. Come here and help me get rid of this stinking arsonist. Edna? I caught her planting dynamite while he was clearing out the soup kitchen. Guess Sagan was innocent after all. I was researching a story, you ignoramus! Sell it to St. Peter's sister. Hey, what's all this? Parker? Tannen, you're under arrest. Get him, Sacramento boy. I can't do that, kid. What? Oh, I get it. Why don't you let go of Miss Strickland and call it a night? Hey, look over there! Watch out! Give it up, Tannen. The alley's blocked off and so are the roads out of town. It's over. Over? Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over! Hey, moron! More on this! Go, Tannen! Make like a tree and die, right? Messes with bowling for ten. I just did that. Come on, kids. Are you shooting at me? Are you? Hey, kid, lead, phony! Hey, moron! More on this! Go, Tannen! Make like a tree and die, rat! Hey! That a girl? Make it easy on yourself, Tent. Hey, kid! Ha! That ain't a real gun! Oh, right. I forgot. I'd better just get rid of it then. Oh, crap. <coughs> hey, he's getting away! Oh no! I have like a cat watching the TV while I'm playing. It's weird.
Somewhere one or two o'clock in the morning or something. I don't know. Yes. No. There. Good as new. Oh, look, Hannah, the judge's son. All right, Parker. I want a getaway car and a clear road to Nevada or the brown kid gets it. Doc. Marty. Doc? Yes, it's me. I'm talking to you through the radio apparatus. My younger self has installed in a rocket car. What's going on up there? It's not good, Doc. Trixie and Parker did their part, but now Kid's holding you hostage. Right, Scott. No kidding. Try to get Kid in the car. Once he's inside, give me a signal, and I'll do the rest. How am I? You! Emmett! You're the cause of all of this, ain't you? You shouldn't. Oh, I'm just sitting. No one makes a fool out of me. Hey, I get it. Irving Tannen, I'm placing you under arrest for kidnapping, attempted murder, tax evasion, and smelling like a piece of crap. Tax evasion? Haven't you heard? The feds are practically drooling over Trixie's books. Trixie? That's what you get for killing Artie, you bastard! What? I didn't... Trixie? Artie? All right, Grandpa. My poor car. I believe I owe you an apology, Mr. Brown. Thanks to your ridiculous contraption, Hill Valley's most notorious criminal is finally headed to prison. No apologies necessary, Miss Strickland. My rocket car may have accidentally saved the day, but only because it's a completely out-of-control failure. I need a new idea. If you're willing to listen, I might have a few suggestions. But first, I think we should take in a movie. I'm all yours, Mr. Brown. I think you'll like it. It's all about a brilliant scientist with an overabundance of hubris. Whew. Come on, Einie. Let's go find Doc. Oh. Thanks for letting me fly the DeLorean, Doc. This thing's a blast. I'm absolutely sure that everything's back to normal. Totally. Kid's going to jail, Emmett's going to see Frankenstein, and there's no such thing as a tanning crime family in 1986. <laughs> and we remembered Einstein this time, too. Hill Valley crime rate at all time low. Hmm. Well, except for Grandpa necking with Trixie, I think we're ready to go back to 1986. You feel yourself fading out of existence? No. Then as long as your father's still born in seven years, I say, let your grandfather sow his oats. Sowing oats? Is that what's going on with you and Edna? What are you talking about? Emmett and Edna, they're gonna go see Frankenstein together. That's odd.
Doc? Ah! Finished episode two. Now I'm gonna leave it so let's see what the next one is for you guys. Almost you people just watching it. I don't even have the game. It's fine. I do that too. Martin McFly, age 18. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Father George, Lorraine. Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. A re-education program? What the hell? Please don't swear, Martin. It makes me uncomfortable. Zero demerits until this morning. We're through, McFly. I'll never take such a swear again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is what happened to you? Jesus Christ, now, what happened to you? I'll see you guys on episode three. Bye.